All right, here's the boat. We Beastie 3. She's a J33. And we're going to change the transducer to a triducer. Okay, so I picked the best time possible to shoot this video, and that's when someone's grinding on the boat next to me. But we're gonna do our best to try to figure out how to change the uh, transducer on a J33. So I'm gonna walk you over to the underside of the boat here in just a second. All right, so it took a little bit of work, but we managed to get that sucker out. Jim, you wanna pull that out for me? There we are. See how easy it comes out? Yeah, it didn't come out so easy. If you check out the threads on that, you can see how I had to pull the crap out of it to get it out of that hole. But now, we have, where's my camera? There's the hole, we gotta clean it all out. I'll show you what it looks like from the inside too. Okay, so buddy Jim there is uh, cleaning up the old goo, the old sealant. Let's get in there close and have a look. Scraping it off for now, we've gotta get it nice and clean. Let's see what it looks like from the inside. All right, here's the boat from up top. Doesn't have anything to do with the transducer. Just thought I'd let you see the boat a little bit and our pizza boxes and let's go down below and have a look all right there's the gear here's our instructions which I couldn't find online but here is the existing hole so we're gonna clean that up nice there used to be a wood block that was cut to size hello Jim and um, that wood block had basically just about turned to mush. So that was already not a good thing. But we have our new Raymarine Triducer. Oh, that's it there. And we're going to put in the sleeve for it, or the collar, whatever they call it. And we'll get that sucker ready. So we'll see you shortly. All right, we're going to see what my videoing and vacuuming skills are like at the same time. This is going to get loud. <laughs> alcohol give her a little cleaning up okay. okay so I put a little silicone okay so the first time I tried this I seated this all the way till it hit that o-ring and then I looked at the end and it's not flush and that made me a little nervous so what you basically will have to do is kind of really push it on and then it pops in and then you can start doing these up and the more you kind of do that back and forth now it's sitting flush okay okay so question why did we replace the old unit when it's the exact same diameter as the new piece we're putting in. Of course, it didn't look this rough when we took it out, but inside it looks like that. The new unit has the stopper valve inside it. So if for whatever reason we need to take the triducer out, uh, that stopper valve stops the water from gushing into the, uh, into the house, into the boat. All right, according to the fine folks at the rigging shop in Toronto, you use 4200. So that's what Jim's trying to open here. And that's going to be our sealant. All right, so there was some question, because it's got a valve inside, what direction does it face? There did not seem to be much in the instructions to explain it, but there does happen to be a small arrow right there. So I'm gonna point that towards the bow. All right. So I'm going to generously apply this goo. Hmm. By the way, no one has been sanding all day, for the most part. But we started recording. And now they're just going to town. So to speak. So the seagulls. 
Okay. We will get back to you once this is all gooped. Okay, so according to the directions, you want to make sure you get the flange as well as uh, far enough up that it's going to go through the hull uh, and then have the washer and then the nut on the inside. And so it has to get into the threads at least that high. I think I've got at least that and then some. So we're ready to put this sucker in, I believe. Check your arrow. All right. Look at Mr. Arrow time. It points that way. Ooh. Did you want to show that again? It points that way. And... Oh, it's going to be gooey. Ooh. Oh, beauty. 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 All right, now I'm going to go inside the boat. All right, so here she is. We've got a good amount of silic or silicone, I guess that is. Point which direction is forward. And this is the bow. So I'm going to take Mr. Nut. Now, once I get here, I'm going to make sure this doesn't move. Now, I'm going to keep tightening from this side. Jim's going to go underneath and just make sure that we're not, not making an absolute mess disaster in the boat. <laughs> 